Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys 20 if you having a Hyundai Sonata. If you have a Hyundai Sonata and you want to know the top 5 reasons that can cause front end noise rattle, let's say you go through bumps, potholes, speed bumps, anything like that, you feel something loose, something rattling, creating a noise, stay with us, we will explain the top 5 things that can cause that and we will explain why it's important to fix it on time, otherwise it's very dangerous maybe to drive your vehicle guys. So all that will be covered in this video today. So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also, uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. And specifically guys, on this Hyundai Sonata, we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos, Videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we have specifically guys this 2013 Hyundai Sonata that we'll be demonstrating on. Okay, we have the wheel removed so we can show you what most likely can cause front end noise and rattle. Okay, let's start with the most popular ones but make sure you stand till the end because some of the other ones people don't even think about that. So what we are going to do, we have the car in the air so I'm going to go ahead. Okay, let's turn the steering wheel to the right. Okay, so I can... Okay, I can show you now, okay, what we have here. You have that device, guys, okay, right here. That's known as a sway bar link. What's the purpose of that link? Okay, it connects the sway bar, which is located, okay, you can see right there, to the strut of the car, and it keeps the left and the right tire, okay, in balance, so when you go through curves or um, turns, something like that, the car is stable, guys. So, the number one thing, those will go bad, okay, and ours, Okay, you can see the seal broke, full of rust, dust, it's done, guys. That's the number one thing that creates front end noise rattle. Now, what else can cause that? Relating to the, okay, to the sway bar. If you look right here, guys, okay, on the sway bar, you have bushings, one on each side. Those bushings, if you have play there, that will create front end noise rattle. Most people never think about those, but it's very common okay to create to have a play there on a higher mileage vehicle okay vehicle that has been exposed to more uh, uh, let's say cold temperatures or uh, being exposed to more uh, snow and ice and salt conditions as well guys now something else that's very common okay to create front and noise rattle your stud guys and it can create noise okay and rattle in multiple ways one of them when they st start going out they will start leaking fluid most of the times in some cases they may go out without leaking fluid but if the strut is bad okay that can cause noise and rattle as well also on top you have a bearing assembly guys the strut mount that can also cause okay that condition so that could be another thing guys now what else to look for ball joints okay and you have two of them one is the lower control arm ball joint Okay, right here, if those are wore out, if the seal is broken, leak grease, if you grab the wheel and you have play, okay, that ball joint needs to be replaced. Now, we have a special video that will explain the symptoms of bad uh, ball joint. Now, let me actually go ahead, okay, and turn to the, to the left now, okay, so I can show you something else. Now, you have another ball joint, and it's this one right here. This is for the, this is known as outer tie rod. The, the purpose of that tie rod is the one that actually when you turn the steering wheel that's what controls the the wheels in which direction to go so if that is bad guys okay often that will create front end noise and rattle quite often if all that checks out you need to check the bushings for your control arms for instance you have one bushing there and you have another bushing okay right here on the front so those bushings can be the reason why you have front end noise and rattle guys but number one i'll check this thing number two i'll check bow joints shocks and then go from there hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time